Vampire Weekend better though? I've never listened to Vampire Weekend because they're not Weezer. Yes. Can you start the lecture over again, please? What was that? Can you start the lecture over again, please? Yes. <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. This is the Weezer flowchart that I made just now, mainly for the B, but now I'm excited to share my knowledge with all of you because I feel like it's a very useful thing to know. Um, okay. So start, starting off with the flowchart, you got Blue album. Right? You have to start at blue. If you don't start at blue, what the fuck are you doing? Right? It is these, it's made to be a starting off point. It was our first record. Uh, those 10 songs are just like iconic. You literally can't go wrong with any of them. They're perfect. It's everything about Weezer, everything that's great about Weezer and Rivers Cuomo's songwriting, you find it in that record. Uh, and like, if you don't like blue, you, just, you, don't, you don't like Weezer. That's just a matter of fact. That's how it is. Yes, question Adam? In other words, he peaked. And then it's been a descent from there. Now, I wouldn't say that personally, but there are people who would, I guess, say that. Anyway, uh, so yeah, you listen to Blue, you like Blue, fucking, like, go your grade A, start fucking going, right? Next up is Pinkerton. This might be a little bit of a hot take from me. I think you should always listen to Pinkerton next. Um, there are some people who will be like, it's a little too different. It's a little too different from Blue. You can't really compare the two. Um, but in my opinion, I think, like, you gotta listen to Blue and then you gotta listen to Pinkerton because they're very different. And that's the reason you gotta listen to, listen to them back and back to back. Because if you like Blue and you don't like Pinkerton, that changes everything. It's like Adam and Eve. Literally. Hmm. Or if you like if you like both of them, like that also changes everything. Or alternatively, if you only like Pinkerton, you don't like Blue. You know, like there's a lot of different variables we can go here, right? So anyway, from Pinkerton, I decided I think what the best course of action to go. You listen to Pinkerton, if you were like, you know what, and someone like whoever that is in Joe. this slide, oh, no, probably Joe. Joe. No, it is Joe's right there. Hi, Joe. Um, Joe. If you listen to Pinkerton, and you're Fuck like, you. man, that was pretty good, but honestly, I kind of like my Weezer a little bit more clean, you know? A little bit more of that classic rock sound. Go to white. You gotta go to white. Because, um, like, white is just, like, blue album, but, like, again, and honestly, a little better. I'm not even gonna lie to you, maybe a little bit better. Depending on the day for me, I think white is better than blue. Whoa. Just personally, just personally. That's, that's just my take. Whoa. I don't think it's controversial or about like, you know, controversial opinions, but you know, that's just how it is, right? Um, so definitely listen to white, right? Uh, or, or if you're listening to Pinkerton, you're like, shit, this, this is it. This is what I wanna hear more of. Maladroit, you're gonna wanna listen to Maladroit. Maladroit kind of has that like grungy, a little bit like riff, more riffier side of Weezer that you don't really see in a lot of their discography. Uh, it's not really talked about as much as like some of their other records. I think it's kind of a shame, uh, personally speaking. Uh, but yeah, no, listen to Maladroit if you like Pinkerton a little bit more than Blue. Or if you're kind of split between the two, if you're both like, man, these records are great. It's hard to go wrong with either one. Maybe the next stop for you is, is Everything Will Be Alright in the End. Hello. Um, I think everything will be on right is like the perfect, like I guess, kind of middle ground between Welcome these two records. You know, like it's kind of it kind of has that like uh, pop rock kind of songwriting to it, but it also it has that like kind of grunge tinge to it. Like it has that texture that you don't really find in a lot of Weezer's like poppier stuff. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, and then from there, like it's kind of up to you. It, you kind of just have to like think about like, okay, what aspects did I like from all these different records? Um, but personally, I think maybe the next best stop for you would be Seasons Autumn. I think that's like one of their best releases in recent years. Uh, it kind of has like everything that was great about like Blue and a little bit of Pinkerton has like those synths in it. You don't, you, they don't use synths that often anymore. And so when they do, like it really, really pops off. Uh, so listen to this autumn, and if you like autumn, go to winter because it's just kind of like autumn, but like again. But it, you know, it has a little bit more like instead of like synths, it has like acoustic guitar and harmonica. So it kind of calls back to blue in that way. Uh, so you really can't go wrong. Um, so like I think these are like the go-to. You like if you're gonna listen to Weezer, listen to these albums. Um, and at the very end, after all of that, OK Human is your final stop. Because it is so, it's so different sonically, everything else. Because it ditches all the like acoustic guitars. No, nah, not acoustic guitars. It ditches all the electric guitars and the synths and like all that like hard rock sound, 
and it's fucking an, an orchestra, um, a full like 32 piece orchestra. It's beautiful, L literally the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Um, but it still has all of that songwriting that makes Weezer so great. Um, and like this is this is the complete package. I think if you were to listen to all these albums and like you know enjoy them, I think that there you go. Like that's the perfect, the perfect blend right there. Up here in this island, I have like all their other stuff that's like supplemental in my eyes. Like it all has its merits. None of it is like awful. Yes, Labib. What type of island is it? It's it's the listen if you want island. Side quest. Not the island in the sun. I know what you were trying to go for it. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna entertain it. Right? This is very serious. That's the don't listen island. No, what is it? That's a bad ending. Yes. <laughs> um. So like none of the, none of this is like bad. I guess. It's just not that. It's like it's not great. You know what I mean? Like I, I like songs from all these albums, but I wouldn't like if I'm like shit. I want to get somebody hooked on Weezer. I want to put them on any of these. They're not on my, they're not the go-tos. Down here is just the don't listen to them. They are bad. Uh, you got Green Album. Don't listen to it. It's bad. Why? Because it's, it's bad. Um, <laughs> it's like, it's just so fucking boring. It's so boring. It's just 28 minutes of power chord pop rock that the only reason it exists is because Pinkerton was hated when it came out. And that made Rivers very sad. And he was like, I want people to like me again. And then he went to Blue Album and was like, what did people like about this record? And then he just took all of that, but without any of the sauce. And that's green. It's boring. It's, I don't like it. Don't listen to it. Uh, the next one is Teal. Don't listen to Teal. It's a bad album because it's not even, it's not even a Weezer album. It's, it's covers, it's all covers, and none of them are really that good. If you wanna to listen to any of those songs, just listen to the original ones. There's no reason to, they don't do anything interesting with any of the covers, don't listen to it. Uh, and then last is Gratitude, I shouldn't need to explain this. It's the bastard child of their discography. <laughs> Nobody likes it, and the only people who say that, shut up Don, the only people who say they like it is because it has the funny dog on the cover, <laughs> yeah. and because it has Can't Stop Partying on it featuring Lil Wayne. Which admittedly is pretty funny. However, if I want somebody to listen to and enjoy Weezer, stay like 50 feet away from that album. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Like I counted, this is 19 albums. They have 19 albums out right now. Uh, yeah. So take pictures. Take pictures. I, I, worked, I worked hard on this. Um, Magnum opus. I would. Honestly, I would. <laughs> the microphone like, is in the way. I don't. Is literally that better? No. Fuck. <laughs> Listen, I'll put it in a corner over Rock here first. so you can yeah. all look at it. Yeah. Shit, oh, when did this open mic? It was supposed to start 12 minutes ago. <laughs> well, good set, Jared. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Professor. Professor Weaver. <laughs>